guys, uh, one of the issues I was always having when I was trying to learn how to code uh, before I was actually a, a CS major was trying to find stuff that wasn't just a very specific example. I wanted a full lab done. And so that's what the, the purpose of these YouTube videos are going to be. They're going to be entire labs taken from actual college uh, CS courses in Java. And I got approval through my instructor to use his labs and everything he designed. So we're going to start off very basic in each lab, and each one's going to get progressively harder. So it may go a little fast, it may be short in the beginning, but that's because, I mean, these are the basics, and you have to build off the basics and go from there. So I'll show you the lab right now that we're about to do, and we'll go, we'll, uh, we'll go on there to code, go on to code from there. So here is this. So basically, this, uh, this lab is, uh, it's, it's about com learning how to use comments in your code. It's very important because it will allow you to put stuff in there that you don't want the compiler to read so that you can come back and be like, you're going to look at your code a year from now and be like, slash slash comment. That's what it does. So we're going to learn how to put comments in there by putting our name in there. A multi-line comment. We're going to learn um, multiple variables. Uh, int stand for integer. We're going to learn strings as well, which is a text variable. And uh, doubles, which is a um, another variable which stores decimal places like 3.95. And then we're going to learn how to print it out. So here we go, guys. We're going to start a new class. Um, I just named it Basic Lab 1. The first thing you really have to know um, is that you need kind of a, a starting line. Um, what I mean by that is basically every, every program you you use is going to have a main method. That's your starting line. And uh, the main method always has the same name. Name is public, static, void, main, string, args. So it may sound a little confusing. I, I remember being like, what is all, this all about? Uh, and don't, don't really worry about it right now. Just think of it as your starting line. This is where we're going to do the bulk of our coding uh, early on. And a little tip, because uh, you're going to start typing stuff out, it's going to look informative. If you hold Control Shift F, it will actually format what's out there. So the first thing the instruction said is to um, put a comment with our name in it. So we need to know how to do that. So double slash will give us our comment. So, you know, my name is Leroy Jenkins. So that's just a comment. That's just so when you go back, you can see what the name is. Now we want to do a multiple. You see when I go down here, it's not uh, green anymore. This means it's no longer a comment. So that's a one-line comment. So a multiple-line comment for when you have a lot of stuff to say. Uh, you do a slash asterisk and then an asterisk slash. And so this is a multi-line comment. Okay, so that's how we learn to comment. It's pretty basic stuff. So the next thing it asked was for us to create an age variable. Now, in this example, we're just going to create it in our main method here, a public static main, ma void main string args. This is our start line. So this is basically everything runs from here. So we're just going to say int age. And what that did was it created an int. That This is your type. Your int is your type. And the age is the name. And then we're just going to set it age equals 26. And put the semicolon at the end to end it. This is how it knows. And we could also have set it. Uh, let's go back to our comments like this. Uh, int age equals 26 in one line. So just a just a little note. So next, it wanted us to create a double, another type, but remember it's double, and we'll set it that that way. So double GPA equals 3.1. Semicolon to end it. So there's that. Last but not least, we're going to create a string. A string is going to be a little bit different just because a string is a is basically text. It's like you're stringing letters together is how I remember it. So for our name. And the difference here is you're going to actually, when it, when it comes to text, 99% uh, of the time you're going to put quotes in there just so that you just so that it knows it's actual text. Similar to how we comment it out. So uh, we'll put for a name, Leroy Jenkins. And there's that. So okay, we have our age variable. We've learned how to comment stuff and multi-line -com multi, uh, comments. And we have our age. 
and we have our GPA and now we need to string it together so this is how we're gonna print this is how you print something out system dot out dot print we're gonna have our parentheses here and then right here there's a couple things we, we're gonna string it all together a little bit so we have our name variable so we're gonna say we're gonna type put some text in there first my name and remember the quotes is and we're going to put a space at the end here so that it formats correctly because if we didn't put a space at the end it would put my name is Leroy would be all one word and so that's not what we want so next we're going to add our name so now this says my name is Leroy Jenkins and then we're going to add again we want to say okay we want we want a space in there because we don't want Jenkins to continue on with that so we're going to put a space in between our uh, our uh, parentheses here, or quotations rather, and my name is Leroy Jenkins, and oops, sorry about the cast, and my GPA is, and then remember another space plus uh, d uh, GPA. That's our var that's our double variable, and then we're gonna do another plus, and we're gonna say another space and I'm plus we're gonna call our age here plus years old period so oops, sorry about that so system dot out dot print my name is plus our name variable Leroy Jenkins plus and my GPA is plus our GPA variable 3.1 plus and I'm our age variable which is an int 26 years old so when we save it and then remember control shift F will format it automatically so it's a little bit clearer like that we're gonna go run run and then right down here my name is Leroy Jenkins and my GPA is 3.1 and I'm 26 years old so I'll have this lab there up on my YouTube comments page just right there but I also have a, uh, a similar lab the exact same lab pretty much and in here I'll have lines you, you can see the comments here are significantly greater and this goes into a little bit more detail on how this is gonna work and why we did the things we did and so this may be helpful for people who are a little bit struggling on it so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll uh, I'll do my best to have a second lab they're gonna go pretty quick I'm gonna knock them out about one every five days so make sure you subscribe and uh, see you in the second lap.